area. So to answer your question, Patrick, it is, it, Maybe those patterns can be found, but I haven't really looked. I'm so fixated on Phoenix, on, on Nemesis Object X, and on the Dark Satellite. Those three objects I have perfect orbits for, but that's the problem. I didn't date the dates that they were seen, historical records. However, we have we have the whole chronological... I don't want to say orbits no more. You, you see, I've tried to phase that word out because I am a simulationist now. Yes, I do believe that it is a simulation of an actual or once real universe in that, in that humans are trying to correct something or prevent something or see how something could have been prevented. It may just be one long study. <clears throat> and uh, who knows? We could all be immortal beings who would decided, hey, man, let's just enter this simulation right here and see what happens, knowing full well that while we were in it, we're going to live, we're going to feel like we're really living all this long time, sleeping and waking and, and, and all these trials and tribulations and going to work and dealing with issues and all that stuff and, and relationships and relationship problems. And, but, but when we come out of it, we'll return only minutes after we had left. It's a, when it comes to a simulation, we can't really know the parameters of actual existence because we are admitting to an anomaly, which is that we are in we are intelligence that are confined within a construct that we don't know anything about. We just know that our our perceptions of space-time reality conforms to what the simulation has conveyed to us through five senses that are jacked in, into the system. Therefore, we're uh, we're no we're we're not near as free as you think. I'm talking even in our even in our thinking patterns, in what we accept to be true, the paradigms by which we base all our decisions. We're nowhere near as free as people think. Is think you know they think we are. It's a uh, it's good to feel that we are free, but as long as you see, you are trapped within the realm of sight. As long as you hear. You are trapped within the audible range. As long as you smell, you are trapped within the olfactory range. And as long as you can touch, you believe everything around you is physical and not a bunch of oscillating fields. So, I'm just as trapped as anybody else. But, in spiritual qualities, by virtue of the imagination, I can imagine that I'm in an environment for which my whole being rebels against. Physically, I'm here. But... Intellectually, I understand that spiritually, I might be confined. That is, is amazing. Animals don't have that capacity to delineate between fact and fiction. Everything is fact to them because they're experiencing it. It's real. There's no thought processing with an animal that, hey, did I see that or not? Or why is that tree there? And is that tree actually there? Or if a tree falls, am I going to hear it if I'm not close enough? There is none of that with, well, with, with animals. Animals are almost as if they are, they are programmed into our environment and that we develop relationships with phantoms. They're not really real. So, like I said, all, all this is within the realm of, of, uh, of plausibility, but it's also pure hypotheses and speculation. All I know is that I doubt every single thing that that I feel, taste, touch, hear, smell. And that doubt originates from somewhere else because it can't come from the world that I live in because the world that I live in is, is always trying to convince me that I'm here. So it comes from somewhere else. It comes from something deeper. Uh, my, and by virtue of my studies, especially with a calculator going through all these series of events throughout world history, I am convinced that we are in a simulation. We have no proof whatsoever that this world even existed before 1902. We have none. There isn't a single person alive today who could say, hey, I can disprove you, man, because I was alive in 1901. There's no one alive today that can say that. It's impossible. So, uh, everything that we're experiencing could have began in 1872. We just don't know. Everything in history is too perfect. And even if it did unfold the way it did, it's still a program because it's too damn perfect.